it is quite clear that a world of floundering men is unlikely to be a world of flourishing women. And as evidence for that, I'll point to the fact that Melinda French Gates, one of the leading lights of the women's movements, just asked me to spend $20 million of her money <laughs> on boys and men. Now, why would such a high-profile feminist spend her own money on boys and men? And the reason, as she said publicly herself, is because it's not good for women and girls if boys and men keep struggling. And so she has vaulted over the zero-sum framing. She has allowed herself to think two thoughts at once. She has said, we can simultaneously work on women in politics, women in leadership, women in... There's still a bunch of stuff for people to do for women. And to be clear, I do think that that work on behalf of women and girls remains important. It's just that it's also important to be working on the issues of boys and men. 